Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be cleaning up these two giant seashells here, along with a bunch of other shells, sea urchins, sand dollars and so much more. Let's see how well we can clean some shells up and show you guys how to clean up your shell finds. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is everything that we're going to be using today in this video. So the cleaning stuff, we're going to be using bleach here. This is just $2 bleach from Coles. Hydrogen peroxide for the sand dollars. Just some baby oil here. Mineral oil is the same thing. Uh, we've got some tissues, some gloves, a little Dremel tool here to shave down the lips of the shells. Big old containers for the big shells and small shells. And then here are the shells that we're going to be using. So. This big spindle and this big baler shell here, I didn't find. I bought off uh, Marketplace. But yeah, as you can tell, they're pretty rough condition. So we're going to try our best to clean them up as best as we can and show you guys. Uh, but everything else I found. So like these baler shells here I found. Uh, the sandals, that's going to be a pretty interesting clean up for those. Look at that one, that's super dirty. Got a big old sea urchin here. And then some other shells there, some little sea urchins, cowrie shells, spondyla shells, and uh, yeah, so let's put them all into bunches and we're gonna start cleaning them. So we're gonna start off with three groups and each group we're doing a different cleanup to them. So this group here is getting a serious clean. So these will be going in bleach for a long, long time, probably about 70% uh, bleach, 30% water for all these. And they'll probably be sitting in the bleach solution overnight. And then what we're going to be doing is shaving all the edges around with the uh, Dremel tool, especially this one here. This big bow really needs a good cleanup, as you can see. It's got a bunch of uh, oysters on it. It's got a really bad lip there, but it does have some nice spines and I think that'll clean up really well. And if we come closer, this one has a lot of stuff on it. Like that really needs a really good clean, as you can tell. Inside's not too bad. This is all like dirt and stuff. So that one's not too bad. This one, however, don't think I'm gonna be able to save that too well. As you can see, they're all like holes. So I'm obviously not gonna be able to clean this, uh, with this one up too well. I'll definitely be able to get the green out of it and it'll pretty much just be a big white shell. I'll probably be able to get those out, but uh, yeah, this one here, no idea how that's gonna go, because as you can see, it's mainly filled up with excess calcium there. So hopefully we'll be able to do something with that. But yeah, all these shells here are going in about 70% bleach. And uh, yeah, so this pile here, this, there's not really much you can do about excess calcium like this. Um, the best way that I find works to clean these up and make them shiny again is to put them in a lot of this baby oil or mineral oil and it really shines them up. We'll do it really quickly here actually. I'll just show you guys really quick. So look at that, look at that. So yeah, that's all we're gonna do to this bunch here because there's not much you can do about excess calcium like that. But uh, yeah, next pile here we have the sand dollars and sea urchins. What we're gonna be using is this hydrogen peroxide solution. Um, don't know too much about it. Uh, somebody told me online to use that because if you use uh, bleach with sea urchins, then they'll just completely destroy them and make them fray and they'll just crumble in your hands. I've done it a few times and it's really sad and they just crumble completely in your hands. So never use bleach with your sea urchin finds. And you'll notice if you've watched anybody else's shell cleaning videos, some people use muriatic acid. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I, I never use it. I've used it a few times and it just destroys your shells. Like, yeah, it can get all the stuff off the top, but if you leave it in a seconds too long, it just destroys the shell. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using it and we're not going to be using it here today. So let's get started with the first pile. All right, we've got the big buckets here. We're going to start doing pile one and we are using gloves. Pretty pink ones too. Got our pretty pink gloves on. Let's chuck them in. Actually, we gotta put the bleach in. <laughs> One second. Okay, here we are. Doing this inside, so we have to be careful. 
I wouldn't recommend it, but for the video, we will. Just for you guys. So we're gonna use about a liter in that one, and a liter in this one. Yeah, a little bit more in there. And before Dono just got his measurements wrong, it was 70% water and 30% bleach. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can do however much you want, but at the end of the day, it'll still work. All right. I just got more water. Gonna fit. I think it will. Is this going to fit? Oh, it's not going to fit. Oh, it's that big. All right, we're going to have to keep spinning it around every few hours, but I know this one will for sure fit. So this is going in. This is so dirty. All right, that's gonna have to be flipped as well. Don't really wanna to put too much more water in, but uh, yeah, we'll put as many other of these little shells in as possible as well, so they can like go in underneath there. That fits perfectly. This one's gotta be a fun clean up. So we're gonna let these shells sit for about seven or eight hours. For the small ones like these two that I'm about to put in, um, I'd probably only say three or four hours. At the end of the day, if you leave them in too long, it's not going to destroy the shell, unlike acid. Um, acid, if you leave it in for like 30 seconds, the shell will be completely gone. So, yeah, that's one reason why I don't use acid. It's just way too powerful and dangerous. So we'll put these in as well. A little Arabian that I found a couple episodes ago. Bonk this spondylus in that's such a nice one that's going to come out nice i think you can already hear the bleach working come down here you can hear it sort of bubbling with the shell and getting all the crud off of it got a nice little baler shell here really nice spines on this one that should come out nice especially after the baby oil Bonk. got another murex here lace murex i'm pretty sure it was and that can go in here Bonk. This one, oh, this will probably have to sit in that bar. No idea how this is gonna go, honestly. Anyway, off you go. Do it gently. Um, there we go. Lucky I got gloves on. All right, that is the first bucket or the first batch. Now we're gonna get on with the other two batches just behind you. All right, yeah. We'll leave this sit for about eight hours and in about four hours we'll take out the smaller shells. Yeah. All right, we've got the next batch here. We're gonna use hydrogen peroxide. This was about $4, so pretty cheap stuff. There's a child lock on it. There we go. <laughs> I'm above nine. All right. So we've got a bit of water here. Uh, yeah, let's... A leaf. Yeah, that's underneath, but oh my. All right, so we've got them in the water and hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> so, not sure how long we leave them in for, but uh, yeah, hopefully it should clean them up really nice. Let's check it out. Yeah. I think we'll take a toothbrush to it as well. As you can see, it's already working. So, we'll give them a clean up after this as well and uh, check it out after. So now we're on to the third batch and this one is gonna blow your guys mind. What I do here with the baby oil and these shells, you watch. Gave you a little snippet of it before. So what you wanna do, we're, on, we're also gonna be using the Dremel on the ones here that we have on the lips. So yeah, that'll be fun. But first, we're going to lather them up and show you guys and then use the Dremel tool. So you wanna put a good amount on a tissue. Watch this, get a close up of this. Look at that. How cool is that? So you wanna add uh, baby oil to any of your shells, even if they have excess calcium like this or not, every couple of months because it protects the color and the shell itself. It's actually really helpful stuff. Now watch this one. Brand new. How about that? Showed you guys this one before, but not this well. Look at that, eh? That's a brand new shell, you'd think. Pretty cool. 
Uh, let's do this little baby one. Let's do this little baby shell here. No idea how this one's gonna go. Ah, wow. Did go all right. That's beautiful. We don't even need to use the Dremel on that one. Get some more there. Might even need to put in a little bit of bleach though for that. Oh no, that's, oh yeah, that's a little bit of shell. So you wanna just lather it up really nice. Get all in the crevices and look at that. Brand new shell. That's incredible. Look at those spines there. So yeah, that's what uh, happens when you add mineral oil or baby oil to your shell finds, if they have a lot of calcium on them. So now what we're gonna do is use the Dremel tool and uh, sort of flatten out these lips here. See the breakage there, breakage there. So what we'll do is just smooth them out. This one doesn't need it though, so that one's already done. And yeah, pretty cool, let's get to it. I forgot to mention, wear a mask if you do use a Dremel to uh, shave off any shells. This is highly toxic to breathe in. I'll show you. So the... All that, super toxic to breathe in, so just be careful. So what I'm doing here, you can see that it's like super, you know, in there. So it's going to take a while to shave it down. So what I'm going to do is use nail cutters to slightly make it a bit easier and quicker to shave down. There we go. See that? It's gonna be a lot easier to shave down now. There we go. Don't do too much. There we go. So now that's gonna be a lot quicker to shave down. All right, this one's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, probably pro probably not gonna use the nail cutters because the shell is super thin here. So it shouldn't take long to just shave that down. So let's get to it. It's actually the next day now. We left them in overnight for about, what, 13, 14 hours. And right now we are going to use a toothbrush, watch this, to do this. How cool is that? We're gonna get off as much as we can and then we're gonna shave them all down. We'll pretty much be done. So let's do that. done the bleach process and the scrubbing process but obviously some of them couldn't be saved uh, like this one that's just way too far gone it's got holes in it and everything this one here again way too far gone as you can see and then especially this one no doubt about that 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 was gonna make it so we're gonna leave those ones as they are and then the rest we still have a lot of cleaning up to do a lot of dremeling to do and they're gonna come out really nice. Especially these ones here, the baby oil would fix those up really, really well. But uh, yeah, let's get to the last step and use the dremel on this big bad boys. And uh, not you, we actually do have a really nice urchin there as well. That came out really nice. So yeah, let's get to the last step then. We're now onto the last step of this big shell clean here. These are the survivors here. Everything else didn't make it. They were just way too far gone. Tried our best, but uh, yeah, here we are. So now the last step is to use baby oil or mineral oil on your shells. Watch this. We showed you guys a bit of a uh, sneak peek earlier, but you watch this. Look at that. 
That is a whole brand new shell. We've shaved the edge down, as you can see. Had some breakages here and there, but now that is a perfect baler shell. Would you look at that? And this also um, saves the color of the shell. So if you have your shells in a display like this, which obviously everybody does, then you'll notice over a long time, the color of the shell will start to fade. This will protect it. So doing this every couple of months will protect its color. So look at that. Isn't that just incredible? I'll put up the uh, original video of this shell on screen right now so you can see it before and after. But uh, let's do the rest of them here. And we'll show you guys at the end. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Drop a comment about where you are from around the world. I'd love to see where you guys are watching from. And if you want to grab this seashell yourself, I might actually be selling it. So message me on Instagram if you might be interested in it. I just don't have the room for a shell this size. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun to clean up the shells. We had so many good ones that turned out really, really well. So uh, yeah, comment down below where you're from and what shell was your favorite to clean up. Mine was probably the giant baler shell, or one of the smaller ones. They came out really nicely, but yeah, thanks guys, bye.